Last night, I was listening to some KISS music videos, and I decided to look up the Wikipedia article for Paul Stanley, and amazingly, Paul Stanley is not dead. I guess I don't know exactly why that's surprising. He just seems like somebody who would have driven a Cadillac into a pool by now. Maybe that's the goal I should have in life. When I'm 60 or 70 years old, people look me up. They're like, wow, I can't believe he somehow survived his lifestyle. Welcome to M3's 3D. Every day I shoot a short film showing the authentic slice of life for a 3D printing entrepreneur. We've been in business for six years. This is how it all works. Time for that morning roundup. The second alien dino skull, just about done. And here we've got a Buddha. You already know. Yep, we're just constantly cronk. <laughs> this is my life now, cranking out Davids. This is a new one. The Boston Terrier. Still gotta print the ears and stuff, but yup. Boston Terrier keywords do very well, so we are making one. Got the big coffee cup printing, and of course, the lid. And the big saber tooth skull is getting close to done. New object. I am not gonna reveal what it is, but y'all just have to guess. We're about to get that coffee, but I wanted to mention. A lot of these new dogs, dogs with jobs and the new products, some of them are actually getting some pretty good views. Let's take the tank commander guy. 52 visits is not bad for a new thing, plus two favorites. And some of that's from the initial giveaway and stuff, but not all of it. This guy right here doing quite well, 61 visits. I remember originally it was like 10 to 20 visits, something like that, so it's definitely got legs. Bitcoin Chihuahua getting pretty good visits. Still pretty cold. Not really snow, but we do have the chill. Knack flicks and chill. No! One of my favorite comments ever, it was actually from a show or something. When Kiss took off their makeup, Twisted Sister went in their dressing room and scraped some of it off the floor. One thing I am gonna take, this dunk. Dunkin' level, midnight. Dunkin' makes the homies all right. Back at the shop, boy am I grateful to be inside. There's just something about it being freezing out and being somewhere warm that just gives me like a shot in Freuda against the weather. Mm. Another reminder, we're gonna have the first link in the description. Go subscribe to Snail's channel because we're gonna be doing our first ever live stream. You guys will be viewing this on the 22nd. So from your perspective, it will be tomorrow, the 23rd, 5 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 4 p.m. Mountain Time, and California can just go. Whatever it is in commie time, I don't know. I actually shipped to California so much. I've been a bunch of times. It's got its problems, but it's still beautiful. But anyway, first ever live stream. We're gonna be doing it on Snail's channel. Like I said, first link in the description. Go subscribe and tune in tomorrow at those times. And you can comment and be ridiculous. Had to make a joke about the weather. We're about to get packaging some stuff. Lizard Boy is on Cults 3D, only $5. Link in the description. It's a good way to support the channel. And plus, you get a very cool lizardy fella. Everyday low price of five bucks. I'm not gouging you, I'm spreading the fun. Okie doke, let's paint the eyes on the Sharko. You know what phrase I miss? You gonna learn to date. Man, it was just perfect for so many things. Like you're telling somebody how to do something at work, you gonna learn to date. It was so delightfully multi-purpose. Big old D20. Doctor Who cookie cutters. Everyone gets a cupcake. Golden pug -a boy Oh yeah, I uh, meant to do this yesterday. This is normally a Monday thing, but we got three new products last week. You know, we're trying for 150 this year, so that means I'm gonna take these guys off and we're gonna put three more tally marks. There we go, second set of five, two, three. Still the first month, that's 12 for the year, baby, right there, right on track. I'm listening to Tony Robbins right now, and one of his famous sayings is, that which you do not measure, you cannot control. 
that's exactly what inspired this. Like I came out with a lot of products last year, but I don't think I hit 150 because I was not really keeping track. I was keeping track of the daily count. I wasn't keeping track of the overall count. And there's something about having the goal right there, looking at it every day, that really helps. If you're developing products, trying to grow your business or something, you should do something like this. I swear by it. Let's do a couple things. Let's uh, take the supports off of Hippo Boy here. D20 CC. Oh yeah, time to send off the Chihuahua Gangsta. Like I said, this one's going to a friend of mine and I am quite excited about his reaction. Getting some stuff ready for painting. Einstein. And now the second alien dino skull. Another Einstein. Dostoevsky. Big a cheese. Got a Buddha. Another blanket boy. All right, we got to paint all these little guys. It is predictably very cold in here. Let's show you what we got. This is the skull that we're doing. This is a purple hippo, interestingly. That guy's gonna be green. Of course, cheese, cheese tends to be yellow. These guys are going white. And this one right here, I guess you might as well get introduced. This is our Boston Terrier. He's gonna be black and white, but I think we're doing the white layer first taping it off, then doing the black. And these guys are going white. These guys are going whoa, black and white. Of course, we got Blanket Boy. Then we're gonna have Gold Buddha. Painting is done, let me show you. Of course, we got the Gold Buddha. Purple Hippo, he needs another coat. Green D20. Gonna do a couple coats on this cheese so it's a little brighter. Of course, the white stuff. The classic skull right there. A couple of Einsteins. We got the first layer of color on Chihuahua Boy. And I would say this, this white layer is done. I think we gotta get in that corner a little bit more. Yeah, maybe we need a second, second coat there, but basically that's what we got here. Well, that's probably about enough for today. Let's close her down. Oh man, I'm really beat today. I think the thing I'm feeling most grateful for is probably not having to move this stuff across town. Just moving it right next door, it's not that bad. If anything, it's kind of fun. I'm grateful that I am warm. I know what it's like to be trying to sleep outside in weather like that and worse. And I'm very glad I'm not doing that. It's something you just never forget. I'm really grateful for some of the new products that I designed today or started designing today. Man, I, I really wanna like give something away, but I've got something real special coming down the, the pike. I'm just really trying to think of super outside the box type things, things that nobody's expecting. And it's fun because in 3D printing, you can kind of do that, you know? Like it's, the possibilities are so endless that you can find things to do that are gonna shock people. Before we dive into Discord though, we've got a featured business tonight on the show. A contributor to the Discord, Big Ed has a shop and he has many things and it's a family business, which is really fun. He's got an interesting story and I'm gonna let him tell it right now. Hey, hello, I'm Ed. I go by Gets 3D Printing Online, uh, which is a small family business. Um, got into 3D printing about a year ago, and my wife's health took a turn for the worse, so she hasn't been able to work, so we decided to try turning it into a small family business. And a year later, we're doing halfway decent for just a little mom and pop deal. Um, me and my boys and my wife are the main ones doing all the work. When it comes to stuff that uh, we like to print, um, pretty much anything from dragons to 
headphone stands um, behind me I'm printing a hundred cups <laughs> for somebody um, but yeah that's just our little business here Really cool stuff. Link to his shop in the description. Also, if you want to be featured on the business, if you're in the Gratitude Gang, we want to see what you got going on. It's really fun getting a look behind the proverbial curtain. And speaking of Discord, let's read a couple comments. Uh, M Hussy Rocks, big contributor, says, watched the episode. A good schemer does not announce his schemes on video. I announced that there were schemes. I did not announce the schemes themselves. Technically, there's a loophole. Good old Toasty O's says, moving is a real chore, even if it's just into the next room. I wish you the best of luck. Lift with your legs, not your back. Boy, is that true. I actually used to work in a Verizon warehouse, and that is some very prescient advice. Sandingo on YouTube says, you have got a lot of space, just need some more room organizers. Or he said, need some more organizers and you're good to go yes i think i've been thinking for a long time about how i would arrange things and i've just never had a reason to just move the racks around and do things but it's gonna be fine it's actually gonna be i'm i'm like looking forward to it getting everything sort of more ergonomic is not the right word more feng shui plus there's actually just a lot of stuff that kind of needs thrown away like you see these racks here there's like stuff on those racks that I kind of needed in the early days of the business. But it's just not even like important anymore. One thing, you know when you get uh, a printer, it comes with a box of things. It's usually like uh, a spare Bowden tube, maybe some more nozzles or something. And there's like stickers and other stuff you don't need. I kept all of the boxes for all of these printers because I was wanting the Bowden tubes and, and the nozzles and stuff like that. But really, it's like I could just take that out, put that in one box, and throw away all these boxes. So it's kind of hard to see, but they're back there. There's a lot of stuff like that that there was really no point in keeping, or there's no point in keeping at this point. JRT3D says, I've been trying to get him on the channel for a long time. Give him some peer pressure. Start using that ceiling space, brother. Wall shelves and such. Yeah. I actually have done that at the last place I was at I had these things that would hang off of the ceiling that um, I would store like mailers in I actually still have right here that used to be a thing for bubble wrap I used to have it just hang from the ceiling but I rearranged a bunch of stuff and there was no point in keeping it there anymore well that is probably enough for today I am virtually dead. So tell me in the comments, what are you grateful for? Are you grateful for the frigid temperatures outside? I bet you're grateful for wool sweaters, wool socks, fireplaces, other things that are warm. Tell me below, what's bringing you levity, fulfillment, warmth, happiness, joy? I want to hear it. I'll probably give you an upvote. I will probably give you a heart. That's half a heart right there. It's going to be great. I'm looking forward to reading all of your comments. I read some of them. Also, you can join the Discord. Just message me on Facebook. Link for that is on my main YouTube page. It's the exclusive treehouse. It's where all the homies hang out. I will see you on the next episode. Peace. Peace.